It used to be that if you said you saw a ghost in your house, people thought you were crazy. I mean, they just said, hey, Marcus, you're crazy. You ain't got no ghost in your house. They just throw you in an asylum. And they know that asylums are crazy, too. Okay. That might be personal stuff. Let me calm it's down. Okay. Breathe, it's breathe. Okay. Deal with it. Wusha, okay. come back here. We're, come okay. back to the space. Come back to the space. We talked about this okay. already. Okay, we got it. Okay, I got it. Okay. But nowadays, we got nanny cams, security cams all over the house. And it helps prove that this guy, <laughs> Mark Hansel, isn't crazy, but that his house is just crazy haunted. Okay. Let's check it out. Uh, okay. Look, look, look. Okay. You see the drawer? Oh! And this guy's daughter was so scared, she hears these noises in the bedroom, she asked him to set up some cameras and look at what he caught. Watch the drawers, bro. Look, 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 to your left. Whoa, do y'all see that? It's still going! Here's what I find so frustrating. Why does science say this can't happen? Explain that. Scientists are like, oh, ghosts aren't real, ghosts aren't real. Then freaking explain, explain that. that. Oh, this is just a trifle force. They probably try and say maybe the floor is a little <laughs> uneven. There's a so gust of wind. Yeah. Listen, I think we do need to talk to Mark and his daughter Trista to see if we can really get down to the bottom of this, because this is their family. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so let's see what's happening. What's going on? Hey guys, how you doing tonight? Hey, what's happening over there? Hey, it's haunted here in Virginia. What can we say? Word. So, Mark, man, tell me what's like really going on. And, and, and Trista, I know you had to really be scared for you to have your parents put a camera in your room, because you know y'all don't play them games. I need my yeah. privacy, Dad! Right. <laughs> it took a lot to get to that point, but everything seemed to be focused in her room. Pictures would go upside down, things would move, drawers would open and shut, so we decided to put a camera in there to see, like, if it could capture something. What other things have happened other than drawers opening and pans moving? We have intelligent knocking, and we can literally have a conversation with this spirit, and it'll tell us how many people are standing in the room. It'll tell us how many people are wearing glasses, even. Wow. It's incredible. It's really incredible. But you did tell us about some, like, dark figures that you caught in your house. Um, we actually have some of those clips right now. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, we caught an entity standing in the back corner. This was taken off a still off of our security feed. Yeah. Looks like a cloaked figure. We don't know what that was. When you walk in that room, it just feels dark. It feels like somebody's watching you. Hmm, that's crazy. What's the history of your house and the land your house is built on? We're built on Civil War property here. The Battle of Cedar Creek was fought literally in our backyard. Wow. So we really think that has a lot to do with it. You know what? You guys need to talk with our friend, psychic median, the OG Chip Coffee. What's going on, Chip? Hi, guys. Hey, Chip. Hey, what's How you up? you doing? Chip, we have Mark and Trista on here right now. OK. You don't know anything about what's going on, so just tell me what you're picking up right now. Have they had any indication that there's a child spirit in their house? I'm wondering if that's something that they know about, because there's definitely a kid in their house. 100%. Yeah, there's a, a small girl we, we think is kind of hovering in the basement. That's yeah, freaky. And you have not been able to identify that child, correct? That's correct. We have audio clips that we've recorded on our cell phones, but you can't really hear it. You know, you kind of lose that clarity when you play it back on a cell phone. Well, here's Chip. <laughs> I've got some information to give you about who that little girl is. <laughs> She's a bold, angry little girl. I think she died in some sort of vehicular accident. What I hear her say in my head is, where is my doll? Where is my doll? So I'm gonna suggest pacify her and place a doll somewhere in the area where you're seeing the kid. Why would you think this spirit like chose their home? Are there kids in their family too? Yes, there is. So that could be very much an attraction point for the little girl. They said that they've been sensing a larger figure somewhere in the bedroom. Do you get anything from that? You might want to see if there was a John who lived in your house at some point in time. I think he's noisy, but not necessarily dangerous. But one thing I will let them know is that he does not like to be ignored. Mm. What should their course of action be then? I would ask him point blank. All right, you've got our attention. What now? What do you want? Why are you here? and see if they get any response. And if not, and he's still hanging around, then say, look, dude, you're here in our house and you're not letting us know why you're here in our house. You gotta hit the bricks. You gotta beat feet, because, you know, you're a trespasser. 